Be, okay, okay, okay. I got Julia. <laughs> <laughs> Hun, uh, uh-huh. I see that you you not only went to England, you uh, you might have done a little time traveling. We don't have a budget for this. You paid two fifty for carrots. They were supposed to be two dollars. Look, he had the accent. Okay, oh, I, he I was had like the accent. I thought I can I do like, an accent. Oh, okay, okay. I'd like to hear an accent. I don't believe you're angry with me unless you do a- Excuse me? Sound like a New York cabbie. <laughs> okay, well, listen here, bub. Uh, I'm walking here, okay? You can't pay those, you can't go around giving $2.50 when it's supposed to be $2. What am I buying a <laughs> casserole from your Lutheran fundraiser? <laughs> <laughs> No, you're not a New York cabbie. Uh, how about this? Um, listen, asshole. Uh, you're not the man that I married. I want a divorce. Was that better? Yeah, and it kind of hurts. Well, you know, I saved up for those quarters for the laundry. You can't just go around paying two fifty for carrots. I, we're on tight budgets here. Okay. I don't know where the fuck I'm from anymore. <laughs> All right. And on that note, we'll start the show. <laughs> Great stuff. You got a little taste of the uh, improv all stars. Warm up process. We go deep in the process. All right. Thanks for joining us. And let's welcome our special guests all the way from New York City, Andrew Barlow. Hey, what's up? And all the way from Portland, Oregon, Chris, Christoph Whiteman. Yay. And all the way from South Palo Alto, even though he's a regular part of the cast, Andrew Porter. <laughs> hey, great. Glad the, right. the bits and bites can make it all the way over here. That's right, bits and bites. <laughs> okay, great stuff. Uh, please throw your suggestions in the chat. We already have some great suggestions. The suggestions power the show. Uh, uh, Shosh Broadman wrote, uh, Connor, question mark. Uh, could we, why don't we take that as a suggestion? That could be the first <laughs> suggestion. It's going to be Connor, question mark, but don't make the scene about me. Don't make it about me. So we can't use the, we can't use the filter? We can't use the Connor filter? Uh, if you want to, let, we'll go ahead and take, uh, we'll take that as a, as a suggestion. Connor, Connor. Question mark? Uh, your top of your resume only says Connor. There's no last name. And that's why I brought you in. That's interesting. That's like a prince. Thank <laughs> you. I prefer not to use my last name. I'd like my work. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. Hold on one second. You do have a last name, though. I have a last name, but I prefer not to use a last name. Oh, this is going so well for you. <laughs> Well, just a second ago, it sounded like you thought I was a really great candidate. and I, I did. I did because I thought you had one name like Prince, like Cher, like Lloyd from um, Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> <laughs> as far as you know, I have only one name. And as far as you know, I'm the best copywriter on the West Coast. You would say that, and I mean, leaving your last name off is a great copywriter move. But then you did specifically say, I choose not to use my last names. Those words came out of your mouth. Well, what about my portfolio? Does that interest you at all? I've got some really great stuff. Okay, all right, let me, I, I, you know, two people applied for this job and the other person has three names, so. Three? (laughs) Yeah. Hey, by the way, Lloyd from Dumb and Dumber had a last name. It was Lloyd Christmas. It was Lloyd Christmas. <laughs> You'd seen them. <laughs> My father told me that was just his favorite holiday. Oh, the name of the character was Lloyd Christmas. Like Tag out Connor. Your... Tag out Connor. <laughs> Son, I'm sorry I've been lying to you about Dumb and Dumber all these years. It's I'm just... 67, Dad. <laughs> I know you're 67, and I'm 94. And now is the time. I don't know how much longer I have left on this planet. So it's time that I tell you the truth. Every character in that movie had a last name. It was Lloyd Christmas. It was Harry Dunn. It was Mary wow. Swanson. Those, those are the three I remember. What about the parrot? The parrot? The parrot. The, par- the parrot? Uh, oh, I don't even remember the first name. See, I'm old. <laughs> it's 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 hard to like 
to sit, tell you the truth when Dad, not all the memories are in my head. I spent 47 years of my life going up to people saying, hi, I'm Philip Halloween. Because <laughs> I thought that's how I was supposed to introduce myself. <laughs> but it worked for you. I mean, you run a successful company yes. stamping yeah. bumpers for cars. I know. And we were about to hire this great copywriter. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what, what went wrong? I mean, you're, you're the boss. I spent the three hours of the interview crying about this movie trauma. Oh, Phil. <laughs> Phil, ugh. Thank you, Look. Dad, though. I got well, Andy. <laughs> I got Andy. Uh, yeah, that's my name, Catherine Arbor Day. Catherine Don't Arbor Day. you fucking lie to me. I, I, <laughs> no, I'm, it's three names. It's. I know it's a little unusual to have a last name that's also kind of a holiday, but I'm a very good copywriter, I promise. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You're telling me your last that's your last name and it's not your favorite holiday? Oh, well, I mean, it is my favorite holiday because it's my name and I love trees. So. Will you marry me? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, I can't hire you for the job because that would be a conflict of interest. Of now, of course, <laughs> I understand. I am willing to put my personal life over my professional in this okay. particular and instance. I would like to take your last name. <laughs> okay. Wow. Sorry. What's your first name? I got so excited. <laughs> Philip. It's Philip. Philip. Wow. Oh my God. This is the best day. I mean, I know you're good Kalea. job. Tag out Kalia. <laughs> so wait. After all of this, I know I betrayed you so many times, but now you're going to give up. You are going to besmirch the Jingleheimer Schmidt last name by becoming Philip Arbor Day. Yes, Dad. I want you to be my best man. I can't get out of bed. I'm 94. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. And I don't know if I approve of this marriage, if this is the way you're going to treat our, fa our family life. You the Jingleheimer Schmitz are nothing but liars, is what I've learned. <laughs> Look, just because I lied to you, and just because my grandfather lied to me, my dad never lied to me, but my grandfather lied to me. <laughs> <laughs> and my great-grandfather lied to my grandfather. There, it'll skip every other generation, so you, your so son I... will not lie to your future grandchildren. I think that's how that works. No, I but won't only lie you to... keep the Jingleheimer name. Dad, just give me your blessing before I pull the plug. Got to the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm so excited uh, to start our life together. I can't believe that yesterday I was just somebody looking for a job. And now I found more than I could have ever imagined. Once the priest gets here, we can get this on the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, Andrew. Andrew, it's me, Connor. Remember me? Oh, Connor's a copywriter that you interviewed. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh, am, I, am I hallucinating? <laughs> I just wanted to tell you my last name if it helps me get the job. <laughs> okay, you want to be the priest for my wedding? Honey, you're talking to my hand and it's um it's weirding me out a little bit. Um I'm sorry, honey. That's okay. I mean, I'm still really excited. I just it's like Thursday. my eyes are up here. You it's know. Thursday. My name's Connor Thursday. My last name is <laughs> Day of the Week. My God, is it your favorite day of the week? <laughs> no, it isn't. Thursday's oh. a tough day because it's not quite Friday. It's like the week is over, but it's not quite over. Right. Right. Well, I don't think I'm going to be hiring you for the copywriter position. <laughs> I know. You already said that. That's why huh? we're loss. married. Your loss. Honey, I do. Tag out Andrew and Kalia. Connor, I mean, why didn't you tell me you were a shapeshifter? <laughs> that I keep to myself. I, I guess I, I guess I thought you wouldn't want to be friends with me. I want to be friends with you so much more now. Well, I was, you, you know, I was, I was choosing between you and Fred and. I was doing the pros and cons, and honestly, you're coming out on top right now. 
Well, thanks. I, uh, I try to use the shape shifting sparingly, but, um, you know, in that case I used it because I had to, t I had to tell that guy who I really was and that he was missing out on the chance to work with me. So are you telling me that time that we were having brunch with Fred and Jennifer and then you went to the bathroom for like two hours where, where were you really? Uh, that particular day, I was definitely in the bathroom. I was having, a, I was having a tough time with what I was eating that day. But there have been other times where uh, I have shape-shifted while we were hanging out. Can't believe you haven't told me all these years. I guess I just thought you wouldn't like me anymore. Look, is there something that, do you need me to shape-shift and help you with anything? Yeah, you're literally reading my mind. <laughs> right. So, you know my cleaner? Yeah. Bob? Sure, of course I know Bob. We've been friends for a long time. Of course I know your cleaner. Bob keeps moving stuff around. He's not stealing anything, but he keeps putting, like, rocks under my couch and then, like, <laughs> In my dishwasher, I recently found a paperclip on the television. And so I need to, I mean, if you, if you can make me shapeshift or if you just get in there and you watch him and confirm that he is pointing shit, he's, he's fucking with me. Back out, Julia. <laughs> hey, well, no one's around, so I'm just going to go ahead and <laughs> put this little paperclip here on top of her vase. <laughs> Balance it ever so gently, so it'll catch your attention later after I'm already gone. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Maybe I'll have to little give it a little twist here. There it is. <laughs> tag out, tag out, Josh. Bring back Julia. <laughs> okay, listen. What's his schedule? Because I tried to shape, I tried to shape shift and it didn't work. But I'm pretty sure. Uh, next time I'll know exactly what to shape shift to. So what days does he come? He comes um, Tuesdays, 6.30 a.m. till 6.45. He does a 15-minute shift, <laughs> leaves, and then he comes back at 7 to 7.15. He's really quick. And then he sometimes comes on a Thursday at 9 p.m. Back out, Julia. <laughs> yeah, I've only got a few minutes here because uh, my shift's almost over, but I'm going <laughs> to... Take this little rack here and put it right underneath the couch cushion. I got Josh. Bring back Julia. Okay, listen, I'm pretty close to being able to do this, but can you tell me that schedule again? Because I think I was thrown off. This guy comes three days a week? Well, sometimes three. So Tuesdays, 6.30 a.m. till 6.45. Then he takes a 15-minute break, 7 a.m. till 7.15. PP. <laughs> specific time right. and then he comes on a Thursday at 9 p.m. and he just kind of I'm not quite sure how long he stays because I go to bed at 9 15. <laughs> <laughs> so you're like asleep while he's doing stuff? Yeah it's efficient. I got Julia. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, no, 6 58 a.m. Better finish this cigarette my break's almost over. <laughs> <laughs> I've got an idea. Oh, well, hello there, Mr. Paperclip. I'm gonna grab you. <laughs> Didn't even notice you on the vase, did she? Hey, this time I'm gonna stick you underneath the couch cushion <laughs> next to this rock I place. <laughs> okay. There. Still being done the wiser. Bring back oh. Connor. <laughs> okay, um, completed. <laughs> completed what you wanted me to do. Wait, and what did you shape shift into? <laughs> uh, shape shifted into a paperclip. Oh. So, what insights did you get? Am I am I am I suspicions right? Well. Uh, yeah, he's just moving stuff around. He's kind of talking in a Kermit the Frog voice. <laughs> um, Knew it. You know, honestly, Julia, I don't think he's that bad of a guy. I think that he's... maybe... No, go ahead. Well, I was just going to say, maybe 
you know, uh, change his schedule. Maybe just one day a week is good, you know, and maybe during a normal time, like 10 a.m. to noon or something like that. He told me he wanted flexible working hours, so I made it really <laughs> flexible for him. I got Connor. Uh, Bob. Two hours and a stretch. Uh, that's going to wear me down. I, we can make it flexible. How about what would work? Like a one hour shift and then you come back another day for another one hour. I, I'm willing to I'm willing to work with you, Bob. I've heard great, amazing recommendations. I heard that you have a Polish mother and that you inherited the, the clean gene, that you, you know, everything is spotless. I, you know, my my mother is Polish, but I just didn't inherit that gene, so. Well, I, I, I know you're trying to meet me halfway here, <laughs> but honestly, I, it's still two hours that you're splitting up. I'm just using- Okay, 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 okay. What about um, half an hour? Just come in the morning, half an hour, come in the afternoon, half an hour. You know, what, is it ADD that you've got? Like, I'm willing to work with it. I, whatever you need, Bob. Bob, whatever you need. We're gonna make- Josh. Uh, yes, man, we're looking for uh, a man who, with a Polish muller glasses, uh, talks in a bit of a Kermit voice. Um, we believe he's a cleaner in your apartment. Um, what is this about, may I uh, He's murdered uh, 73 people across 49 <laughs> states. He keeps a very flexible schedule, so we have a constant <laughs> alibi. Oh, my God. Bob. Bob is a murderer? I did. I guess I did say that. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I've been working nonstop 15 minute shifts. I am exhausted. Well, I mean, yeah, he's going to be here at 9 p.m. To this evening. Oh, okay. Okay. That, uh, that's so good. We're going to stake outside. We're going to. I've got a shapeshifter friend. Like, if what? You, wait, what? <laughs> I've got a friend that shapeshifts. He, he can make use, me help. We could use a guy like that on the police force. Well, let, let me just call him and uh, and see if he can. Oh, here he is. <laughs> sorry. Oh my God! Oh, Julia, he just sorry. popped. You were just. I, was a, actually... I, I thought you were a pillow, and you just popped up into a human. Oh, sorry. I was actually here on another matter. Um, another <laughs> Wait, you're not supposed to be here till 9 p.m., Connor. Have you been spying on me? Um, no, you know what? I got this all mixed up. I thought I was at the police station. I had a police matter that I had to take care of. Um, I saw a guy uh, throw a baseball through a window, and I was going to go report it. Um, but I'm at your house. So it looks like I'm actually at your house right now. Who else are you? Company, Julia? I'm sorry. I feel like I really screwed this up. I didn't know you had company. I could leave. I'm not company. I'm an officer of the law. Oh, Julia, you're dating a, a cop? That's great. No. Bob's a murderer. Well, it implicated, but yeah, he did it. <laughs> well, look, look, I, sh I, I shapeshift. I might be able to help you. It Julia would be great for us on the force. What's your last name? <laughs> um, I'm not com uh, I'm not comfortable. Uh, you know what? I don't have a last name. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> Thanks. I'm going to tell the guys at the precinct about you. <laughs> hey, I always wanted to be a, a cop. I go Connor and Julia <laughs> and some other guys at the precinct. <laughs> you wouldn't believe it. You know how we all officer last name? This guy's just first name. Oh, what? what? <laughs> He's a shapeshifter, though, right? That's like a that seems like a bigger thing. That's a really big deal. Yeah, the shapeshifting thing is seems to me secondary to the fact that this guy got no <laughs> last name. No, I'm with you. I mean, a lot of people have last names. Why would you not have a last name? That's weird. But Andy, how many shapeshifters do you know? Six. <laughs> Six shapeshifters? It's common in my hometown. <laughs> Where are you from again? It sounds like a Boston Bill. regional. Oh, Shapeshiftville. <laughs> Shapeshiftville. You know, it's it's south of Boston. Mm -hmm. It's like a little on the nose. Yeah. No, I'm well, saying I'm from, it. I'm from 
I'm from it's a little on the Noseville. It's right. Oh, next okay, to that. yeah. Oh. oh, yeah. I mean, well, there you go. Yeah, makes sense. I'm from Make Sense, Bill. I don't know if y'all knew that about me, but when you think about what you know about me, like it makes sense, you know. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, you you say makes sense like every other sentence, basically. Yeah. Uh, hey, does anyone think that pen is staring at us? Shame on all of you. Oh! Oh! Shame on all Every of you. Time. Every time. You're supposed to be helping Julia with her with her murder, with the help that she needs for this murder. And you're and you're talking about where you're from? We we're talking about you. We we're yeah. talking you up. I just it listened was... to you talk about where you were from for 45 minutes. A man Look, is murdering. That's the you. natural progression of a conversation. Okay. You start with one thing, you tangent off to another, and then it just keeps going and like ebbs and flows. Yeah, it makes ways. sense to me. Yeah, I'll tell you where, where are you from? Uh, uh, Newport and Beach. And you have no last <laughs> name, really? No last no, name? I have no last name. I have that, no that's last so name. cool. Why don't you Very focus cool. on catching criminals instead of telling me how to have conversations? Hey. You're telling us how to have a conversation. We were here I'm... complimenting you. Yeah, that's right. And now you're in here like you're some kind of conversation police. And yeah, we're the actual office... police. This is officer point out the obvious. You listen to him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I guess Ooh. I'm a little outnumbered here. It but, is uh, 9.05. Should we be worried that uh, that somebody's being murdered? I got everyone. Uh, <laughs> now if I just take this little push pin here, <laughs> I'm going to set it right on top of the refrigerator. And Julia will be none the wiser. <laughs> 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 then perhaps... If I take my feather duster and pull a single feather out, open up the freezer, and place it underneath this box of hot pockets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bob, you fiendish, fiendish man. <laughs> uh, bring Bob to a, uh, interviewing with a new client. So I don't, I don't get it. What am I hiring you to do in my apartment? <laughs> Same. <laughs> uh, it all started from Connor? Question mark. Question mark. No. <laughs> the beauty of improv. The beauty of improv. Craig Boyko says, "Ha ha!" About that scene. That's great, hey. Thanks, Craig. <laughs> Thank you, Craig Boyko. That's great ha, ha. feedback. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. That's We're doing great. it for the haha. Let's take the suggestion of uh, stowaway. Thanks, Craig. Ooh, the suggestion of stowaway. 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 Look, I already saw you, okay? <laughs> I, I still see you. You you literally just lifted up a coat and put it over your face. No. Yeah. yeah. I'm just a bathrobe, not even a coat. You're not a you're look, I don't mind you hitching a ride on this boat, okay? I'm not like other pirates who have a strict code when it comes to stowaways, okay? You are welcome on my ship. You won't make me walk the plank? No, I don't even believe in walking the plank. You you know how <laughs> barbaric that is? No, you well Great. welcome to the ship. I just I just ask there's an honesty policy on this ship. You just you need to be honest and like, you know, speak the truth. Speak your mind. Okay. Like if you're upset, you tell me you're upset. If you're happy, that kind of thing. Okay. Well, I'm I'm relieved. Great. But I'm a bit ashamed that I lied to you and said I was that bathrobe. You're forgiven. I forgive you. Thank you. Okay. I like I acknowledge that like you I didn't there's no notice outside of the ship that like lists the rules of the ship. So you know that's my bad. I am going to learn from this experience and I am going to do that in case other people want to stow away. In fact, you know, let's get rid that of would the be term great. stowaway. Yeah, wouldn't it? Yeah. How about the term guest or passenger? Yeah. You know? Guest. <laughs> pa pass Unexpected passenger. Unexpected passage. There's a lot of positive connotations yeah. to that. Yeah, I there's got a lot of stigma around the word stowaway. Yeah, it inherently tells you to, you know, 
go away. Oh, yeah. Hello. <laughs> Arr, PT. Uh, <laughs> so I think that I'm still going to use the term stowaway and not guest, if you don't mind. Don't you feel like that's like just, I don't know. If anything else, I think it's giving us pirates a bad name because we are just like throwing this insulting term onto people who don't deserve it, you know? PT, he's not paying his his due on the voyage and I, look, I'm going to I'm going to keep with your your policy, your unwritten policy. Uh I'm being honest at what? I'm writing I am writing it up. I'm in the process of like writing like a full doctrine. This is this is what I'm getting at, PT, cuz uh uh you're just not acting like a normal pirate, you know? It, it's it's just kind of uh, I I mean we think of ourselves as we think of ourselves as rugged individualists, but I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Pirates all kind of want to be the same. <laughs> yeah, I don't buy that. Okay, like excuse me for thinking outside the box. Okay. Hey, hey. Excuse me, I have something to say. Oh, um, yeah. I was told uh, when I was welcomed to the ship that I need to uh, speak my feelings. Yes, be please. honest. <laughs> when you said that you're just going to choose to say the term stowaway in reference to me when you know it hurts my feelings yeah. yeah that makes me that hurts my feelings twice over because you're choosing to hurt my feelings do you understand in his presence you're saying that in his presence in my like, presence pt this is the kind of thing that you're fostering here okay we're rough and tumble pirates. We're all rough and tumble pirates, except you, you, you have us talking about our feelings and you, you have us have our circle where we're supposed to have our moment speaking. And then... Look, look, I just think piracy just, you know, it, 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 it gives more power to like toxic masculinity, okay? And that's just mm -hmm. not healthy for anybody. It's not healthy for anybody, okay? I'm like, we trying to be as healthy. I'm drinking this damned cucumber water. Yeah, replace the rum with and, okay. And thank you for doing that. I mean, like, honestly, you look great since you started yeah. drinking that. You look great. Don't you feel better? I've got to I've gotta say it's done wonders for my skin, but that's beside the point, okay? We're rough and tumble pirates, damn it. We, we rob and we pillage, and quite frankly, the, the uh, fact that you mm. took the put uh, sound dampeners on the cannons. Why, it just takes the fear a bit out of it, you know? Well, <laughs> going to the thing you were saying about robbing and pillaging. Oh Sorry, oh. I don't mean to interrupt. Yeah. No, please, no, wanted... no interrupting here. Maybe okay, I just wanted to let everybody know that yoga starts in 10 minutes on the deck. If oh, anybody wow. okay, wants to <laughs> join, you're all welcome. A special invitation, of course, to our guest. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. what, uh, what style? Uh, it's just going to be like a, a, a breezy sort of flow. Uh, cool. Go at your own pace. Beginner is um, fine. Yeah, beginner all the okay. way up to, you know, whatever's available to you, just, you know, go to your edge. Okay. He's, Frank. Frank. He's a stowaway, okay? Lakeless Frank is a great instructor. <sighs> yeah. Anyway, what I, I was uh, saying is like, we're not going to rob and pillage anymore. <laughs> what? So what I got talking? everybody bring back Kalia. Um... People at this gym mm -hmm. are really <laughs> responding to you. They are? Uh, I think so. I had oh, a lot of reluctance. I had a lot of reluctance when I brought you on. Because I know. You you're were really reluctant. I was. Yeah. Um, and you also, you have a live animal with you, which is yeah. actually literally against the law in a mm. lot of gyms. <laughs> um, I appreciate you making an exception. Believe me. We really love the work that you're doing. but um, Thank you some items have gone missing from some of the locker rooms. Oh no. And um, uh, I, I hate to do this, but um, you and your parents oh, are suspects. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> because I'm a pirate, you think that I'm going around to people's lockers? And well, pirates things? plunder things, right? And they steal things. Oh, wow. This is rich. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I was just excuse me walking oh. by. I was just walking by. Uh-huh. There's a man caught a in the yoga mats gym. over there. I understand. 
I was just walking by. I work for the ACLU, and if you want to sue this gym for discrimination, I now hang on just a second. Thank now you. hang on just a second. Now there was a hook that there was a hook hand found in one of the lockers. Okay. Oh wow! Oh, and maybe it was a fisherman or thank you a sewer. They use hooks. Here's my card. <laughs> I am I am late. For <laughs> take your time. I'll take your card. I will be in touch. I will be in touch. Someone help that man out of the yoga mat. Of course. No, I, I'm sorry. Um, it's not a yoga mat. It's a bathrobe. And I was just, I'm just an unexpected guest at this gym. Oh, and well, you know what? I, I was taught to, to welcome unexpected guests. I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, Absolutely. Regarding and guests, we're actually we're actually suspending all guest privileges right now until we figure out who's been stealing from the lockers. Well, I'm also turning off all the treadmills. So if you're getting on a treadmill to run, you can get on the treadmill, but nothing's going to happen because we need to figure this out. Okay, okay. to me, well, it I'm going to go like stand on the treadmill. Go do it. It sounds like you just want to shut down your gym, and you're using me as an excuse. Okay, I come in here, you butter me up by saying everybody loves my yoga classes. And then all of a sudden you accuse me of plundering. Think again. What do you really want, man? I want out of the fitness industry. I want out. I'm tired. <laughs> That's what I I'm exhausted. I do cardio every day. <laughs> Don't bother. It's not going to do anything. And you know what, Kalia? You caught me. I was the one who plundered the stuff. I, I took, knew it. I bought a hook hand from a costume shop and I planted it in a lot. I have both my hands. What was your end game? <laughs> I thought I could. I thought I could get. I thought I could get you. It's not going to work, you doofus. It's not going to work. I just got it down. Listen, I've been doing cardio every day for three and a half consecutive years. Tag out everyone uh, except Andy. <laughs> How is the gym, honey? <laughs> you are not going to believe what's going on at this gym. Not only is it the most <laughs> inefficient gym I've ever been to, there's some soap opera level shit going on behind me. I <laughs> am so sick and tired of you finding reasons to not exercise. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. This is not. This, this is, is, not this this is, is not the that. dog doesn't like long walks all over again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. To be fair. That dog was the laziest dog ever. Don't okay? you dare. Don't you dare make fun of my chubby little puggy. I'm not making fun. I'm stating a fact. Puggy is lazy. Puggy does not like to walk long distances. That's just it. And this gym turned off all the treadmills. So I didn't really have any. <laughs> a gym to... turned off treadmills? That's what I got I'm it, Andrew. <laughs> all right, listen up, everyone. This gym is being robbed. You, <laughs> you with the brown shirt. Lift, lift that end of the treadmill. We're gonna load all these treadmills into my van. Grab that end. Okay. Heavy part. Um, all right. How we lift I, it? I kind of, I kind of don't really. Uh, I mean, like, I, I kind of have like back issues. Is it really okay if I <laughs> listen? Listen. Don't do that. No one at this gym is gonna run on a treadmill. I don't care if you got tag no out, back. Tag out, Andy. <laughs> okay. Look, new plan. Because that last one failed spectacularly. <laughs> no, I know. I know. <laughs> This I'm is what like I want all, you to do. All energy and no, no plan part of it. No, that's all right. It's my fault. This is what I want you to do. This is what's <laughs> going to get me out of the fitness industry. I want you to take this asbestos that I'm going to give you in this burlap sack. And I want you to run into the gym and I want you to shout, I'm spreading asbestos around the gym. Everybody out. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I'm already you know, on it. And I think what's <laughs> going to happen is they'll close down the gym and then I don't have to work in the fitness industry anymore. That sounds beautiful. Let's do okay. it. Okay. All right. Tag out Connor and partner. Bring back Barlow. The place is full of asbestos. I can't go back there anymore. <laughs> this is my father doesn't want to go mountain climbing. <laughs> Honey, I want somebody who has dedication, persistence, confidence, and big, sexy, hot, big, rippling Vivac muscles. <laughs> I know those were your vows and I've been trying <laughs> to live up to them. Okay. I, but it, it's just like this. I'm going to find another gym. I, I, I swear to you, just this gym is it. I don't know. This gym's falling apart. Okay, fine. How did they find out they had asbestos? They can't fell off the wall or something. 
<laughs> no, a guy literally ran in and started saying, I'm going to throw it everywhere. I got so Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you're lucky I dragged you out of there when I did. It's a three alarm fire. Yeah, I, I really appreciate you doing that and not telling me to use my own feet when I was doing that. That was, that was good. Can you drag me home, by the way? I certainly can. I mean, oh, great. There's been a rash of trouble going on in the gyms all over the city. So I'd be delighted to. Wait, every single gym? Not every single gym, just a number of them. I mean, there's still a 24 hour fitness on Geary, uh, 24 hour fitness right. on uh, Seven. <laughs> um, in fact, I, let me, I'm checking an app for you right now if you want oh, to. Oh, no, no, no. You don't, you don't have to check. I'm, I'm, I can look it up when I get home. I'm sure that's totally fine. I'm sure they won't be set on fire within the next 30, 48 hours or anything. <laughs> and, you know, I've. I'll... <laughs> I got a I got Joshua. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, we're called the flexible gym. Uh, basically, okay. it means that you can only come in for 15 minutes at a time, and then you have to leave for 15 minutes, and then you can come back. Um, so, like, it might take you 15 minutes to warm up, and then you'll actually have to go cool down, and then you'll come okay. back, and you'll be able to warm up, but you might not actually be able to exercise. Oh, this is the perfect place for me. Great to this, hear. This, this, I have found my gym. This is fantastic. The mo minimal effort. Love Amazing. It. Can we sign you up? You ready yes. to uh, commit to a membership? Absolutely. Like, sign me up. Sign me up. You're, you're All right, everyone. Membership. Listen up. I got a jackhammer. And I'm going to jackhammer a hole so big in the center of this gym <laughs> that all the equipment is going to fall into it. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my 15 minutes are up. I got to go out. <laughs> she did. She fell in before she could sign me up well thanks dude hey i got my own problems i don't need your shit <laughs> put this on me i'm living my own life here i got tag out andy okay and uh venting the jackhammer was 225 and uh <laughs> the insurance actually found that there was a damage to the handle so that'll be an extra hundred dollars and the handle that's gotta be the most replaceable part of the jackhammer <laughs> Okay, yeah, we're gonna replace it with a hundred dollars. No, Excuse this is me? ridiculous. Let me talk to your manager. This is ridiculous. <laughs> okay. Okay, fine. <laughs> manager. <laughs> Yo, I'm the manager. Hey, this guy's telling me it's gonna cost. What is that? How, how much to replace the handle of a jackhammer? At least a hundred. At least you're, that's crazy. That's crazy to me. I mean, unless you know. We wanted to upgrade to a nicer handle. Could be 120, all the way up to 500. <laughs> That's what are, no. Do you have a manager? Yeah. Can um, I talk to him? One second. Hey, um, other manager? Yes. My manager. Yes. Thank you. All right. Look, I, I'm told it's going to cost a hundred plus dollars to replace the handle of a of a jackhammer. Well, if we were replacing it with normal jackhammer handles, but we're actually going to be replacing them with fine ivory laden in grade oak <laughs> handles that are upwards of $650. It's part of our budget this year. Okay, yes. I guess this is luxury jackhammers, but there's got to be a demographic <laughs> of people that just want the regular jackhammers. Oh, you want to go you want to go to some standard jackhammer place like some sort of just Johnny Punch Clock construction workers? You came to you came to Le Monsieur Jacamel. <laughs> I can't, you can't talk to me like that. Let me talk to your manager. Uh, <laughs> hey, uh, Andrew. Andrew, it's me. I manage this place now. Wait, what? <laughs> I was trying to get out of the, I was trying to get out of the fitness industry. I'm out, man. I'm, I'm working in hardware listen. stores. Hey, can you help me out of a bind? Uh, I know about $1,500, apparently. To this store? Yeah. I know. Well, no, you got to pay that because I manage the store. Hey, Andrew, something you should know about this hardware store and all of the tools with it. This place is riddled with asbestos. See? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Shape shifting and asbestos. Okay, great. Let's keep it going. Please throw those suggestions in the chat. Let's take uh, hoity toity. I don't really know what that, uh, what, what, I don't know what that means. Whatever that means to you, hoity toity. I might have to look that up. I have a very specific <laughs> reference. <laughs> hoity toity. 
Hi. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Thank you. I'm very excited to be at Hoity Toities. <laughs> really looking to uh, up level my um, classiness, you know? Mm, yes. Really trying to get out of the working class that I was born into, mm. Mm. make it into the Hoity Toity class. I hear you. Time to leave the hoi polloi behind. Mm. You're going to want to throw that term around if you become hoity-toity. Okay. I'm, 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 I'm willing That's to do lesson anything. Lesson one. I'm willing to do anything. Okay. <laughs> I know there's an initiation, so <laughs> I'm, ready. I'm ready for the initiation. It's already begun. <laughs> <laughs> This is not a robbery. You can put your hands down. I I watched the YouTube video and they said that <laughs> I unlocked the next level, right? I wouldn't want the hoy polloi to hear you. Next level unlocked. Fuck yes. Next. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I know that was okay. I'm still going no to my swear time. jars around here. Oh, thank fuck. Well done. <laughs> Level three. <laughs> yes. Tag out Christoph and Julia. I know a few people come in. Uh, hey, listen up, everybody. This is one of our most serious cases. There's a new cult called the Hoity Doity Cult forming Ooh. out of people who left Scientology. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay, and I really want to be part of it. So you they won't let me. Of... Wait, 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 wait. You want to be part of the cult or part of the investigation? Oh, the uh, the cult. I mean, well, I started the investigation because I'm trying to figure out how to get in. Every time I apply, they tell me my chirons are too high. Yeah, right. That makes sense. I guess we got to lower your chirons. Well, okay, I'm gonna. <laughs> yeah, listen, we're here to support you. We just want to make sure that you know there's clarity of intention. You know what you're getting yourself into, that sort of thing. But if if you want to be part of the cult, like we're your bros, we're here to back you up. You know. Well, ever since my wife left me, said I wasn't fancy enough. I just figured yeah. this is the place. <laughs> oh yeah, this will get her back, no question. You get those no chirons question. out, you get in. What do you got to eat? Like, could uh... resist someone who gets up to level seven? I hear. You. First thing they said is, I need five thousand dollars. <laughs> well, all right, boys, come on, let's pony up. All right, tag out everyone except for Andrew Baller. <laughs> so, you uh, have you got the fucking five grand? Uh, yeah, whoa, curse words. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a uh, no swear jars around here, if you know what I mean. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I don't because I'm not part of the cult yet, but I'm excited <laughs> to learn. Yeah, look, I, I sometimes let a few secrets slip, so you just tuck that one into your pocket? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. But here's the five grand. All right, let me just count it. Oh, tag up. Tag out in. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Um, you were in this bookstore the other day, and I I rang you up for a couple of books. And then when the transaction was over, instead of saying thank you, you said thank fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah. 
I just want to say that 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 uh, that hurt my feelings. Oh, I, I I'm sorry. Um, one sec. Mm, never mind. Never I'm mind. sorry. What are you What are you doing? <laughs> Why are you doing that with your fingers? Oh, I was just uh, itching my forehead. Sorry, sorry. No, never mind. Yeah, look, um, yeah, I did say that. Sometimes it just slips out. I'm very sorry if that offended you. You think you're so fancy, huh? You think you can come into a used <laughs> bookstore? Uh, we're, prou uh, we're proudly used. We're proudly used, by the way. <laughs> I'm Mr. O'Neill's manager. Uh, just want to know if there's a problem here. Yeah, I'm being accused of being fancy. I may have, yes, a, a snakeskin Gucci wallet and a $1,000 haircut. Um, and I'm getting accused here of using inappropriate language and not appreciating vintage books. I love vintage books. I do not appreciate being accused. Um, but Stop doing that. Don't do that to my manager. <laughs> Don't do that to my man. Um, Mr. O'Neill, uh, even though our bookstore does have a swear jar and we don't tolerate that kind of language, we're going to let this kind of slide for this customer today. Ready? What? You're going to let her walk away? Yes, we thank are. You. She said, thank no fuck. Problem. She said, thank fuck. She's, she's, oh. we're going to have her have a gimme, okay? I didn't tell you about the gimme process. Uh, every once in a while, a customer just, eh, if they're buying something that they look like, you know, maybe they're having a bad day or just something's going on. If they're a little, a little fancier than, than you might expect. Uh, hi, I'd like to buy this, co this used copy of The Two Towers. Okay. Um, I was wondering if this discount smells like fucking vomit. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse you? Looks Ex like there's a, a problem with the language here again. Excuse you. That is the two towers. That is one of the finest pieces of fiction in the last century. <laughs> you what are you? Level oh, four! Oh, nice. <laughs> I'm going to walk out with this. <laughs> you know what? I didn't get into the used books industry to be treated like this. Unfortunately, it, it does come with the territory with the used book industry. Every once in a while, you're gonna gonna run afoul of some language, okay? I've been working in this industry for twenty years. You don't have to. You don't tell me what I'm gonna run into. I'm I am your manager. I'll, I'll <laughs> tell you exactly what you're gonna run into. I got well, Josh. <laughs> so you want you want to get out of the book industry, the used book yeah. industry? I can't deal with I can't deal with my manager. He just he lets customers do whatever. All this right, what's what the I plan? What are, we, what are we gonna do? Just like throw a bunch of underwear in there and be like, there's too much underwear. Well, like, this is what I plan? want you to do. That's exactly what I want you to do. I want you to fill a large laundry basket full of underwear and I want you to Done. run into the store. Back out, Connor. Mm -hmm. What are you doing with that basket full of, hey, 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 you can <laughs> Good luck buying a book in here. <laughs> You can't, throw, you can't throw around Calvin Klein's in my uh, used bookstore. Wait, hold on. Watch me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm calling the police. I'm calling the police. Hello. 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 You reached a group line. <laughs> oh, that, I pressed 911. What? Uh, yeah, what? Uh, we're here. You're on oh, a three-way okay. 911 call. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Uh, I ha uh, First off, why are you laughing when you first picked up? <laughs> oh, you, you should have been here. Greg told a really funny joke. Yeah. Okay. I'm pretty funny. Yeah, Greg's pretty funny. You might not know that. Look, I've got an emergency going on at my bookstore right now. Okay? Oh, okay. Yeah, like Somebody's what? seriously physically injured? No, there's a, there's a gentleman here. Well, I... I shouldn't even use the word gentleman. There's a scoundrel here throwing underwear from what seems like a limitless, bottomless basket of clothing. <laughs> Did you say underwear? Yes, he, said, he just took his pants off and threw them at me. Are you hurt? Did you uh, get injured from the underwear? Is usually pretty soft, right? I got everybody except Andrew. <laughs> 
why did you stop? Why did you stop? <laughs> <laughs> it's like three hours, man. I'm not in that kind of shape. You're just throwing underwear. It's not like it's, it's not like it's cardio. I don't know, man. It feels like cardio. Hey, remember when I was in the fitness industry? I did cardio every day for three and a half years. Yeah, that's why you wanted to get out. Yeah, well, you can, if I can do that, you can throw underwear for a couple hours. Well, I'm tired. I get tired. I'm a human. I didn't bring any hydration. I just ran in there with the underwear. That <laughs> treadmill doesn't work. That treadmill doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't work. It doesn't work, and we shouldn't have a treadmill in this bookstore anyway. Look, Andrew, uh, maybe there's no point in me trying to do this. I think, uh, I think the customer's always right. The customer's always right, and I'm always wrong. Two Towers, huh? I heard that's a good book. The Lord of the it's, Rings? No, it's, it's Joseph Campbell, The Hero with a Thousand Faces. <laughs> uh, I lost my spot. Sorry. Can you turn the treadmill on? It's decorative. <laughs> that guy has the most atrophied legs I've ever seen. <laughs> Feed! <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do one more. We'll do one more short one. We're going to go out in a blaze of glory. <laughs> let's take... Um, Let's take a suggestion off. Andrew, you okay? You tired? Come on. I'm good. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> Some Duncans. I'm tired. Oh, kids. That's Boston stuff. Okay. Let's take the suggestion of Helen of Troy. Ooh. <laughs> Troy. Wow. You know, I originally called you in because the name on your resume is pretty <laughs> impressive. Oh, yeah? Sorry, sir. <laughs> it's a coffee you wanted for your interview. Hey, you stick around, you. stick around. I want you to learn something. I want you to learn something. Oh, okay. Now, I think it's pretty badass. Not only your name is Helen of Troy, but you asked my assistant for a coffee for your interview. <laughs> <laughs> pretty big power move, huh? Pretty big power move. But you've been standing looking down on me this whole interview. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. You know, I would have hired you assistant for his this position, but... You don't have this kind of initiative. Uh, should I have stood in my interview? You should have. Um, I don't know about that, but you should have put two creams in this. Huh? Oh, I'm so huh? sorry. I'm really sorry. Wait, why am I apologizing to you? You don't even work here. Jack, I think it is time you start apologizing to Helen of Troy here. Because they're going to be the new CEO of Sirius FXM. <laughs> I... <laughs> I am dying. What? I, I'm dying. <laughs> but you haven't even finished interviewing yet. I've decided that they have the job. I go, Connor and Carla. <laughs> Listen, uh, here at iHeartRadio, we don't like to start wars, but we will finish them and we will go to war for you, Helen of Troy, to be our CEO. Oh, We're yeah? Fight Sirius XFM to the death if we have to. That's how bad we want you on our team. Hmm. You got an assistant? Uh, I do, I have two. Um, oh no, not oh. you. You. Uh, I'd like a coffee. Actually, I'd like one coffee and one Americano. Why don't you two decide wh who gets what? All right. Rock, We're paper, scissors. It. I want the Americano. One. <laughs> Two, three. <laughs> I mean, I went, I jumped the gun early, so. Can I tell you both something? You're fired. What? <laughs> what? I'll do the coffee. It's fine. That it's was fine. such a horrible display. You're embarrassing me in front of Helen of Troy. <laughs> the future CEO of this company. You know what you should have done? You should have come in here, insulted me, and gotten your own assistance to get you a coffee and an Americano. Cause Ooh, that would have been power. Yeah. Why, why would I insult you? You currently run iHeartRadio, the greatest broadcast service in all the, the, the world. I'll tell you why, because I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> why would I insult someone who's dying? Cause that's real power, Josh. Think about it. 
That could be the last thing I hear. Someone called for the chairman of the board. I'm here. Yeah, that's right. Oh. We're, uh, we're offering uh, Helen of Troy the CEO position. I'm going to die very soon. <laughs> I need you to approve it. Yep. Helen of Troy, I'm appointing you CEO. Hey, you Thanks. know what? I don't, I don't have to take this. I heard You're that 107.7 107 The Bone, the Bay Area's premier classic rock station, is hiring. And I'm going to go get uh, hiring specifically for CEO. And I'm going to go get that job. Yeah, you should, you should leave. You should go. Can I get that? everyone but Connor? <laughs> Uh, thank you for coming in. You, you, this is an amazing resume that you have presented to be CEO of 107.7 The Bone. Thank the you. Bone. And, I, and, and, <laughs> and, and no, I would not like to take a seat. I'll be doing this interview standing up. No, I, I love that. It shows initiative. It's, it's very rock and roll, you know? It's like you're not, you're not taking any guff from anybody. No um, guff. I just, I got to tell you that if you had arrived maybe 15 minutes earlier, you would have gotten the job. I'm but too late? We, we just had an interview with too an slow, amazing Joe. candidate. <laughs> I had those Turn installed only off. last week. <laughs> Is that your radio? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you think, radio. You'd think you'd have the decency to turn it off during an interview. No, I mean, like, it's just on all the time. That's how we run things at the bone. Okay, well, look. Oh, the bone. The bone. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, we already had the perfect candidate. They interviewed 15 minutes before you. Mind telling this, me who it is? I, I'm not at all. I mean, like, I got the resume right here. Someone named Helen of Troy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, they have everything they need. They have the initiative. They have skull tag tattoos. Out, tag out Andy. I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah can i just get a grande americano uh name is uh brad pitt all right what was the name again brad pitt all right brad oh my god helen of troy that's right it's good to see you you look well thank you i'm 67 pardon me i was itching my forehead Problem. Me too. <laughs> Sixty-seven. We'll right with, with that coffee. Thank you, American. Yeah, sixty-seven. Like I, knew, I feel like I knew someone else who was sixty-seven. Uh, somebody, the the person who married Mrs. Arbor Day, I think. <laughs> I don't know him, Mr. Arbor. Day, <laughs> I guess. No. Yeah, you probably wouldn't know him. How they're are you? A, uh, they're since... not a part of. They're more in the hoi polloi. Yeah. <laughs> Got something in my eye. How are you since we had that sexual rendezvous for research for my movie? <laughs> Pretty well. A little sore. Oh my God. It's been 17 years at least. Yeah, well, you really. Uh... <laughs> wow, I really made we you put that much. <laughs> Level 69! <laughs> this coffee is taking super long at this Starbucks. Yeah, this guy always takes forever with coffee. I kind of follow him around and ask him for coffee. <laughs> Isn't but that uh, just... yeah, I've, I've been good. I've just been kind of collecting, um, collecting slash inheriting radio stations and uh, satellite radio stations from dying people. Wow. Uh, what are you up to? Any movies well, in the works? No. I guess the movie called Life. I got to get these coffees to my four kids. Oh, yeah. Oh. Well, you look good. Be good. Well, thanks. Don't tell anyone you, know you if saw you're me. researching any, uh, any movies. I won't be doing any. <laughs> okay. Jesus Christ. I just shape shifted to try and see if I could catch you in some kind of, in some kind of lie. And you didn't say anything, anything bad at all. Where the hell is my coffee? I shape shifted into some iced coffee. That was me. Uh, yeah, but I still want the coffee I ordered. I want you to make me a coffee. I'm turning <laughs> the tables on you.
and no, I won't stand. Or I mean, um, I won't sit. <laughs> I'm a I'm a shape shifting barista. That sounds so, like a movie. Think so? Do you want to have sexual rendezvous for seven? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! Uh, glad, to, glad to go out on that. <laughs> Went out on a high note. <laughs> uh, yeah, great. Oh, that felt so is crazy. Actually, I meant to be this. There we go. There you go. Okay, thanks so much for joining us. And uh, we, this show happens every Saturday in the Pacific. Who's got anything? Who's got something they want to promote? Andrew, I know you got lots of stuff to promote. Uh yeah, I do. I just got my Instagram and Twitter at Sir Bislo. Okay, great. And let's and let's plug your podcast too. And I'm going to throw a link to it in the description. Oh, cool. Yeah, the podcast nice is uh, thanks. There's Chuckleheads podcast. We interview uh, comedians, mostly improvisers, a few stand ups, just about how they got into comedy and you know people that inspired them. Great stuff. That's a fun podcast, and I'm glad that I had to remind you to promote your podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Right, great stuff. I'll throw the link to Andrew's podcast. It's a lot of fun. I'll throw the link to that in the video description. And Andy's got a great podcast, too. Yes. Uh, Witness, if you will. Uh, anthology Twilight Zone-esque radio plays. Uh, fourth episode premieres this Monday, and it's a really good one. Great stuff. You I can mean, find they're all the link really to good. that in the video. And check out Andrew Portner's podcast, Andrew in a Car. At andrewinthecar.net. <laughs> you have to buy that URL. URL. That's right. All right. Thanks so much for joining us.